Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Charlene Clemson and this is going to be a home bargains haul. If you saw my Poundland haul, yes, I am in the same clothes. I'm trying to make hay while the sun shines while Zach's having his sleep. So I'm getting all my filming done in one go. Um, my channel is all about mum life, lifestyle, um, cleaning, mum hat life hacks in general beauty that kind of thing so if you like that sort of thing please go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit that bell so you get your notifications in your sub box whenever I post a video and I'm just going to get into it everything's in this big bag I spent um 50 pound which was just part of my like kind of overall budget for the for the month of little bits that I pick up for the house and like cleaning things that kind of thing it's a bit of a mismatch of stuff some things I've actually already started using, like the, I know there's tin foil on there, which I've actually already put in the cupboard because it's tin foil and I needed to use it. So like there's a few things that probably won't won't be on here that are on my receipt. I'll try and give you the prices as I go along. If I forget, I'll pop them in the description. Um, this is basically my first ever home bargain tour. So here we go. First thing I got, and I'm going to show you this, is a brand new. Um, spray mop. My other one, Zach threw it. He literally threw it across my living room and the bottle, it was a different make to this one, the bottle came off. But it was in Home Bargains and this was 6 99 which I think is really, really, really good. If you haven't got a, a spray mop and you've got hard floors anywhere in your house, you need to get one because it's just brilliant. But it's really awkward, so I thought I'd just show you that first. The second thing was, if you saw my home, my pound shop, pound lamp haul, I bought two sets of pink hydrangeas and then I went into Home Bargains and I found these. Now, I mentioned in my Poundland haul, if you're getting married or anything like that and you want to do a flower backdrop, you could use, you know, these hydrangeas and it would fill out a space quite quickly. Um, these ones were only 99p. I know it's only a penny difference, but they've got a few different shades as well. But I picked up these kind of whitey ones that have got kind of a green hue to them. Again, the tops pop off and they've just wired so you would be able to cut them down to fit into a vase or something so i've got two of those um not sure where i'm going to put these ones yet i might fill out the vase that i've got in my window sill but if i've already done it i'll put a little picture in here so that you can see the next thing i got was this picnic blanket which was <coughs> 3.99 i believe and Basically, I bought this because we bought a picnic set from, it's like a backpack from um, Next a couple of years ago. But last year, I completely got caught out and I left it outside and it got ruined. Um, it rained on it and it got completely ruined. Um, it's got a, so I needed a new one and this kind of goes the same sort of colours. It's got like a, all different leaf throngs on it. So it's got the waterproof backing as well. Just really nice, rolls up nice and tight, it's got Velcro so you can you know, roll it up and I know it will fit into the, the holder of the other one that we had because it's basically the exact same thing and for £3.99 it'll do the job. Then I also grabbed a new shower head um, for our en suite, it says it's for gravity fed for systems which is what we've got. It's got three power modes, it's got a little slidey thing on the top there and these are something that I replace quite regularly because they are really affordable to replace. Again. This was $3.99, I believe. $3.49, this was. So, it's just, instead of fighting with it to try and get it clean, I tend to just go and get a new one when they get a bit grubby and a bit minging. I also got a new bowl for our dog, Daisy. We've got a Westie. I'm sure you'll see her in some upcoming videos at some point. You might even hear her rattling around in the kitchen at the moment. Um, but she, at the moment, she's got little metal bowls in the kitchen and she throws them. She literally picks them up in her jaws and she throws them and the water goes everywhere. So, I mean, she's 12 and I've only just thought of doing this. This is like a more heavy ceramic bowl. So I don't think she'll be able to throw this and it's just for her water. They did it in this kind of creamy white with the black paw prints and then the opposite way around. So black with white paw prints. If she gets on with it, and it's not too deep for her, I might get the other one for her food, but we'll see how she gets on with it, and that was just £1.49. And we have got my second son's birthday coming up really, really soon, and he wants an Avengers birthday, and I went into like, the party section where all the plates and everything are, and I found all of these, which was an absolute steal. These were like pence, 
like 99 pence the table covers were 149 um the bags the party bags you get eight bags in there they were 59p so i grabbed a few packs of those a few packs of the the little napkins so we can wrap his cake in those put them in the party bags and then a little bun tin as well to pop up in the food area when we do his party so i grabbed all of those because i think sometimes if you go out last minute and buy these kinds of things it can work out really expensive so i've learned my lesson and i've started getting things as and when i actually find them and um, so that i can use them i can save them before we need to use them and like sort of stock up so yeah that was what I got there for Noah's birthday. And then, let's have a little look. Oh, I've put this in here. I've got a new newbie beaker. It's been used. It's already, it's got juice in it, but I wanted to show you. These are what I actually weaned Zach off the breast onto. Um, they're really soft teats, and he's just kind of stuck with it. Um, I breastfed him until he was like 22 months. Um, but yeah, that's kind of his go-to beaker so whenever I see them in there they sometimes do them on sale in Aldi as well I grab those and I think that was I can't see on here at the moment I'll pop it in the description how much that was but it was only really cheap where was it oh I can't see oh 1.99 it was 1.99 so super cheap cheerful that's what it needs to do and he loves it and I know that he'll use it I also grabbed two packs of the Whoopie Doo um, toilet, flushable toddler toilet wipes because I like to have these, one in the downstairs toilet, one in the upstairs toilet, when we do the downstairs toilet, which you'll, you'll see a video on soon. Um, we're redoing the downstairs cloakroom. Um, they're just better for the boys when they are trying to get themselves cleaned up and they're flushable, so just really easy to easy for them to use i also grabbed a big pack these are 49p of um super soft tissues they're three ply tissues you get 10 in a pack really cheap and cheerful but we are suffering terribly in our family with hay fever this year so i like to have those and the kids like to have them in their school bag as well so that they've got nice soft tissues to use when they're at school if they're feeling a bit sneezy i also grabbed a set of these are james london styling hairdressing scissors because I am by no means a hairdresser, but I do like to, if like the kids get like a long bit or, um, you know, even myself, if I see like a split end or something like that, I'll give it a trim. But I do like to make sure I use proper hairdressing scissors. And these were actually only £1.99. Uh, so really affordable, just a handy thing to have in the house. Then I grabbed, I'm sorry this is so mismatched, but my... I'm just literally diving into my massive reusable bag. I then went and got some of my limited edition Zofloras. I mentioned these in the Poundland haul. I couldn't remember if I'd managed to get the Honeysuckle and Jasmine one when I did the Poundland haul, but I did. I couldn't remember if I'd seen it or not. Um, so I've got Honeysuckle and Jasmine. I'm going to be doing a Zoflora video really soon. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you like Zoflora. And then this is my absolute favourite Zoflora scent and it's the pink grapefruit one. I love the zesty smell so I like zesty lemon but the pink grapefruit one is my absolute favourite and they only do it in the summer but I have found an online store, the online pound shop and you can buy a whole box of them for £11. I think you get 12 for £11 so I'm very tempted to do that. If you've used the online pound shop let me know in the comments but it's because it's not something I've used before and I don't really know how it works like with delivery and things like that. So if you've used it, let me know. I then grabbed a bottle of washing up liquid. I like to use Morning Fresh. I've got really sensitive hands and Morning Fresh is the one that my mum always used. She's also got really sensitive hands. Just trying to see how much it was for you guys. And it doesn't tend to affect us at all. Um, it's the only only kind of washing, washing up liquid that doesn't affect me. It says it's got Sparkle X in it. I have no idea what that is, but it makes your dishes sparkle, which... We can all do with an extra bit of sparkle, even if it is just my dishes. And it was 50% extra free for 79 pence. So I will fill up my little scrubby brush thing with that and keep the rest in the under the cupboard storage. I then grabbed a dishwasher cleaner because I realised, which is this is kind of a gross kind of um, me admitting something. 
since we've had our dishwasher which is just over 12 months i've not actually run a cycle where it cleans it is that gross i don't know is it something people do regularly i don't know if you do let me know um this is clean and fresh a dishwasher kind of cleaning thing like you take the lid off oh no you don't take the lid off you take the little peely thing off pop it in the dishwasher um the rack with where you put your knives and forks and it you put it on a cycle and it cleans your dishwasher and like makes it all nice and clean and it eliminates grease and lime scale which obviously you don't want building up in your dishwasher and then we've got a massive ant situation i don't know if it's just the time of year because we've had lots of sun or i don't know what it is but this year we have got a huge ant problem we did last year as well actually thinking about it so I do buy these ant traps and they keep coming into my living room. So I'm going to pop one of these underneath our TV stand where the kids can't cannot get to it at all. And one in our hallway, um, underneath the mat in the hallway, just at the corner so that they, again, the kids can't get to it. But <clears throat> I don't want ants running riot in my house. It freaks me out. I just don't do critters. So yeah, ant traps. They were 99p for two. I then got, I've never seen this before, um, this 1001, which I know is quite a good brand for carpet cleaning stuff, it eliminates odours, carpet fresh, Thai orchid and passion fruit, leaves your carpet and home feeling fresh. I actually recently used the sort that you shake out and um, then vacuumed it up on our rug, we've got laminate floors in the living room and it actually then, when I put my hoover round, my, my vacuum round my laminate floors, the grip from the shaking one marked my floors, it actually destroyed me because we haven't had this this floor very long and it cost us a lot of money and it, it really upset me so i've been looking for something different that i can use that doesn't have like the grit in it and this says it gets rid of pet odors tobacco odors cooking smells you can use it on um it says it's a fine foam that dries in minutes and you just vacuum it up so shake the cam well hold it upside down spray it onto the carpet leave it and then um hoover it up and it's not going to create like any grit or anything like that that's going to be able to mark my floor. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. I like to do things like this because it just keeps, I mean, Daisy gets showered once a week anyway, but it's not like, my house isn't smelly, but I like to make sure that I'm keeping on top of it. Like I don't want any dog smells or anything like that in my home. I like it to smell nice and clean and fresh. So that's why I got that one. And that was... 189 so we'll see how long that lasts if i enjoy it and there's quite a few different fragrances as well so i can try some different ones and then i also grabbed um this which i basically think is like a ripoff of vanish it's called vamoosh um and it is 600 mils six mega fill six in one can stain remover carpet and sofa foam our sofas i don't know what i was thinking having four children and buying fabric sofas when we bought these gray sofas and they get marks on them all the time and also the stairs carpet is the only carpet we haven't replaced since we've lived here which is six years but we're looking at doing it this year and i like to clean it quite regularly so i thought i'd give this a try it was a lot cheaper than the vanish one at just 79p for that huge can so we'll see how i get on with that and then the last thing but by no means least oh upside down was my marigolds not marigolds these are called power action medium size they're pink i had to get the pink ones and they're just to go my cleaning caddy because like when i'm using any harsher chemicals i like to use quite like natural based stuff apart from mesoflora which i don't think is natural natural based i use like a lot of method and astonish and things like that that are kind of vegan and um more kind of eco-friendly products um I, I still like to use these because my hands get very dry very quickly and also to sounds really sad but to protect my nails um so yeah that's that that is my first home bargains haul if you like these kind of videos i hope you've enjoyed it then please do click that subscribe button give it a thumbs up drop me a um a little message in the comments if you're new to the channel and if you enjoyed it and if there's anything you would like to see from me video wise in the future Thanks again for watching. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.